What's going on guys? Turkey hunting this morning didn't pan out. So doing another kind of hunting now. Looking for mushrooms, morel mushrooms, also known as hickory chickens. So they're pretty tasty and uh, I think we might just make this into a hunting boot camp. So stay tuned. Jackpot. All right, so here they are. Here's what they look like. Morel mushrooms. And I'll show you guys how to cook these up in a later video. But these are, I mean, this is one of the best parts of spring in my book. You find these mushrooms. These are yellows when they're, when it's colder. And like early in the season, they'll be grays. They'll be smaller. See, there's some more. And I didn't bring a bag with me, so... Using my hat. Pretty good haul so far. Okay, so just gonna give you guys a few tips on how to find these. Um, you know, like I said, I'll do a cooking video so you know how to cook them up too. But uh, I mean, this is this is what you're looking for. That might be a little smaller, might be a little bigger. Color could vary a little bit, but that's what you're looking for. Uh, there's also a thing called false morels. They are not hollow inside. These will be hollow. You cut these off. Cut the, basically what, it was a plant. You call it the stem. Um, so you cut that part off and you just use the head here for food purposes. The first piece of advice I can give you is when you finally find one, check the area around because they rarely pop up just one, at, you know, by themselves. There's usually at least another one or if, if not that day, check back you know in a day or two if, especially if you get more moisture they'll pop up you know right after a good rain um, so that that's mushroom hunting tip number one. Oh, there's one Yahtzee nice so mushroom tip number two is and this is really what I do when I'm you know looking at new places to look for mushrooms is look for like ash trees, elm trees, um, even apple trees. But ash and elm, at least where I'm at, you know, they're more common. So I look for those and also look for dead trees that are standing. The like energy from the tree goes back down in the ground and the like the new old nutrients and stuff go into the ground and the mushrooms, you know, it really helps them pop. Also, I'll try to give you an example here. Hopefully you guys can see this. So if you look at this tree straight in front of me, I'll try to zoom in. I look for mushroom like fungi growing on the tree, that white stuff on that ash tree there. That's something to look for. That just means, you know, that the conditions are favorable. And I'm not saying you'll always find them, but that, that seems to be something that helps me locate at least a good area for where they could be. So another tip is early in the season, check the south facing slopes. You know, the sun hits that, it warms the temp the ground temps up more. Uh, mushrooms will pop when it hits 50 degrees Fahrenheit and you have to have adequate moisture as well. That's a big, big key. If it's dry, you more than likely won't find any. But those south facing slopes early in the year and river bottoms, those are the two areas that really, they, the mushrooms show up first. And then as the spring progresses, you know, as it gets warmer, Hopefully you get more moisture. They'll move up the hilltops and on any facing slope. You can find them anywhere. And then as it gets even warmer, you have to look more in the shaded areas because, um, you know, they have to, they try to stay cool, try to stay moist. So another tip for finding mushrooms is to, there's a lot of old wise tales that, that go by, you know, what plants are out. And that means the mushrooms should be out. So like they think it's, uh, when the oak leaf is as big as a squirrel's ear, that's one. I don't, I don't really follow that one, but uh, this is this is a woods violet. They say when these are out, when they're blooming like this, that uh, that's one sign. And also when lilacs are blooming, that's another sign. So those are two things I look for. If the lilacs are blooming or the woods violets are out, I know there's probably mushrooms out too if we have the moisture. So one thing I like to do when I'm out mushroom hunting is you know if I find a big patch I will leave one or two out there just you know to put more spores back out so in three or five years then there'll be more mushrooms yeah I mean I try not to pick the whole patch basically what I'm trying to say you know leave a couple there so they can 
reproduce and we'll have more in the years to come. It's also a good reason why people say to use mesh bags. Unfortunately, I have my hat today. I didn't have a mesh bag, but it kind of lets the spores out as you walk and maybe maybe make more patches as you know in the future. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you can go out and find some mushrooms. See ya.